Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm here at Sir Richard Squire's Memorial Park, which is just a little ways, about 38, 40 kilometers up from Deer Lake, Canada, here in Newfoundland. So I thought I would stop by and see what they have here at this park. It's pretty much a park for fishing and camping and seeing a nice big waterfall that they have. So follow me here and I'll show you what they've got. This is the parking lot to go see the waterfall which is down this way. Here's a nice shot of the river below the falls and you can see several people standing in the middle of the river. <laughs> that looks really shallow and up here is a boat I guess they're fishing too maybe we're heading for another waterfall <laughs> and right upstream here it is folks Looks like that notorious brown water coming off of there. Bunch of steps here to get down to the falls. Definitely not a good place to swim or dive. They call it the Big Falls which is wide but not deep. I'm going to zoom in to the fisherman there. I guess they know where the fish are. This guy's up to his waist. Nice waterfall. Here's a little creek that goes down into the waterfall. Okay, one last shot here. Well, now I'm going to look around the rest of the park. They have a lot of campsites. And like this is a nice big one. But none of the campsites have any hookups at all. All you have here is a picnic table and a barbecue grill. The restrooms just have pit toilets. So I don't see how that could be a ladies room. <laughs> And from the campground, it's a long ways down to the river. What's that guy doing? Fishing. There are some water faucets between campsites. This guy has run a hose all the way over to his RV there. Wow. That's a long hose. <laughs> well, I don't know how to trust the water in these campsites. You'd have to ask them at the front kiosk which ones are good drinking water. And you gotta like having all of these tall trees around. Now this guy I don't see that he's got a satellite TV antenna, but he's got a Starlink up on his picnic table. So unlike satellite antennas for TVs, you can move the Starlinks around to find a spot that works. The campground here does have Wi-Fi, and it does work okay. 
Although I think the Wi-Fi only works well if you're near here, which is right next to the parking lot where you go down to the waterfall. They do have a children's playground. And if you want to pretend like you're a fish, there you go. <laughs> and they have a horseshoe pit over here. Well, obviously some people are renting these camp spaces by the month. And this looks like a real friendly people here. It's five o'clock somewhere. This looks like the place to party <laughs> when they're home. And here in Canada, they charge a nickel per can for the recycling system that they have. So you probably want to take these home. We also have some campsites like this that are just for tents. And if you like the sound of the water at night, this is above the falls. Just some rapids, but terrible view with all the trees here. They do have a store and a restaurant here. It's pretty much just sandwiches for the restaurant. But if you do want to take a break and eat from a restaurant, then that's really not bad at all. This is a nice bench and wooden sculpture they got here. Is that an American bald eagle? A symbol of the United States? <laughs> You do have a dump station here with full instructions how to use it. This is where you go down to get into the water down the steps. It's pretty far down. If you have a kayak that's easy to carry you can take that down. If you want a rowboat they rent the rowboats that are already down there in the water. You just tell them at the front kiosk. Well, I would say it's a nice park. Very nice, especially for people who just like camping without hookups and fishing. Good day, folks. <laughs>